This is absolutely remarkable. No, you saw it. She got me a robot. The, 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 the robot from Lost in Space, except they call it Robot YM3. Now, I know it's called B9. And but, it you know, talks, evidently. It, well, of course it talks. It's a Lost in Space. It must speak. It must be able to say, Danger Will Robinson, mm -hmm. and other things of that nature. But, you know, I'm trying, I'm confused because I'm trying to understand how they fit such a large robot into such a tiny box. The wonders of science. No, is there like another box that goes, no? Oh, and it says here that I have to build it. Well, yeah, I think I could build something, right? It would be a challenge. No, I, I know there's a, a room down in the basement where Andrew goes frequently that has tools. Yes. So I could use the tools and perhaps he has motors as it's well. It's a shop. Oh, well, thank you, Tangela. You know, as, as horrid as she can be sometimes, she's actually quite a good gift giver, as some of our patrons may have learned, right? Yes, indeed. No, no, she, she's quite generous when it comes to time. But then there's other times where she just like kills people, so I'm, I'm confused. Anyways, welcome back to the show. Uh, mail, we need to do some mail, right? What do yeah. you got for me, Mr. Livingston? Where are my glasses? You know, I'm not used to my home being so untidy. This is unusual. Neither am I. Right, well, I think... Fairfield, we'll get... California. Fairfield. You know, I've always wondered if there's any Fairfields in California. Now I know. There's, there's one in this zip code. All right, what have we got? We've got some kind of disc and a letter. Why don't you open the disc for me, love? And I shall read the letter. Greetings, Vincent, Mr. Livingston, and the beautiful Tangela. She she does look like a movie star tonight, does she not? She's you know she got some new Christmas sunglasses. They look like candy canes on the side, and uh, she's quite smitten with those. All right. Uh, enclosed is one of my CDs of synthesizer music that would fit your show, or if not. Just have fun listening to it on a good stereo system. Do we have a stereo system? We do. All right. Many of my friends say it should be in a classic sci-fi or horror movie, and I believe it could. I'm a retired keyboardist who's getting closer to that magical door we call death. But is, that, is it really a magical door? It is a door, and there is some magic involved. That'll take me to the next realm of existence. So I decided to send out some of my musical creations to various places these last two years. It's copyrighted, and you may use it in any manner you wish on your show or for your own pleasure. I've recently started watching your show, and it's so cool. It is cool, isn't it? And cool. it's cool that he sent us some music. You three make it fun and interesting to watch. I consider myself a horror sci-fi addict for movies of this genre, but you've had some old ones that I've never seen before. That's great. Keep up the great work you're doing. Yours in the macabre, RML. That's it, just RML? All right. Well, it could be Randy, Randall. Ralph. Randall McIntosh Livingston. Maybe that's who it is. Anyways, RML, thank you so much. We'll take a listen to that. And uh, hopefully you won't go through that door anytime soon. Right? And right. Whitehurst. Tucson, Arizona, Patrick Whitehurst. You know, if you spelt Whitehurst slightly differently, it could be a hearst that was white. I bet he's never heard that one before. All right. Hi, right. Vincent Tangelo and Mr. Livingston. Just discovered your show. And it's quickly become my favorite thing to do on a Saturday night. You know, there's actually better things to do on a Saturday night, sir, but uh, we'll take it. Ooh, look at this. Oh, you need to hold this one up. So when will you dress in Tangelo's clothes and her in Mr. Livingston's and Mr. Livingston in yours? Yeah, you know, that could be somewhat rather interesting. However, I know whoever had to put on her clothes would not fit. And whoever put on his clothes would be swimming in it, right? Indeed. Because he's, he's a rather tall bloke. Anyway, here is a Vincent superhero cardboard figure. Oh, there is. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Look. Mm. 
Yeah, I think he actually made this. That's amazing. All right, so we've got to put this someplace of honor right here for now. You know, I like the way he added blue shade to my eyes. You know, maybe I should start doing that. Uh, yours truly, Patrick Whitehurst, author of Haunted Monterey County. Let's, where's his book? I just yeah. gave you a book. Oh, let me show me the book. This looks like a very nice book. And look, it's got photos. You know, there's not too many ghost books that have photos, which is nice. Anyways, check out uh, his book, Patrick Whitehurst, Haunted Monterey County. Very nice. All right, one more? One more. What do we got? This is from Moraga. Mor it's all California again. It's all California today. All right, all right. It's been going on for a while. You know, I think the out-of-state people have grown tired of us. All right? I frankly don't blame them. All right? All right, this is from Mr. James Spain, Moraga. We've heard from James. I mean, how many people have the name Spain? It's been a long time, James. All right, happy holidays to the Creature Feature family. Thank you again for another year of Hollywood's worst horror and sci-fi movies. Well, you're wrong there tonight, old chap, because tonight we are showing one of the best, I think. Every time you show a terrible movie, I say to myself, it can't get much worse than this. And then you prove me wrong. I use, for example, The Creeping Terror. That was a terrible film. But, you know, the reason why we ran that film is because we ran so many good ones before it. And we had to keep you on your toes. Right? That's not really why, but it sounds good. Where did you get these from? I mean, this movie was so bad, it makes Plan 9 from Outer Space look like an Academy Award winner. You know, you're right about that. Okay, Plan 9 is a very good film. And we, we haven't read that one in a while. It's Maybe. been a while, yes. Yeah, we should do that one. In our home, the quality of your movie selection is measured by how much popcorn is thrown at the TV set. Needless to say, after watching The Creeping Terror, the next day we couldn't find the TV screen. I, you know, I don't blame you. But you know, a lot of people like that film. I don't know why, but they liked it. But in all honesty, you three do give us all a fun evening, and sometimes the worst of the worst is expected. And by the end of your show, we all have had a good time, so thank you, and thank you for watching. P.S. On a possible guest, have you looked into having Billy Moomy on your show? From the Twilight Zone to Lost in Space, I think he would be an interesting person to interview. From all of us here to all of you there, have a great holiday season. Best, Jim Spain, Raga, California. Merry Christmas and uh, happy holidays, Spain family. Billy Moomy. Didn't we look into Billy Moomy at one time? I believe so. You know. He's very busy. No, it's a problem with him. He's, he's, he's always busy. We tried to get Billy Moomy on when we had the robot. Remember when we had Robot B9? Mm. Yes. And I think, I think he had to, like, go to a show or something like that. You never know. People don't make time for us. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, that's it for mail. If you'd like to send us an uh, email on your own, send it to the address you see over here. Or if you'd like to send us something in the post, like your book or a CD with your music, send it to this address here. We'll be uh, right back soon. But first, let's get back to Tales from the Crypt. May I remove this hat? Hello, my name is Eileen Holloway. I live in southern New Jersey. I love the Creature Feature Show. Have a great day, and hello to all. Take care. Bye.